In this video, we're going to talk about how to allocate a common cost to multiple users by using the Shapley value cost allocation method. So let's say that you live in Chicago and your friend Paul in Paris invites you to come visit him. And then you also have a friend Rachel in Rome who offers you to come visit her. And you have such wonderful friends that they offer to reimburse you for any of the costs to come fly out there. So now one way you could do it is you could fly round trip to Paris for 900 bucks. You could fly round trip to Rome for 1100 bucks, right? So you're making two separate journeys, right? And that would cost you a total of $2,000. But you could also, to save your friends some money, you could fly from Chicago to Paris, then from Paris to Rome, and then back to Chicago. And let's say the cost of that would be $1,600. So you'd be saving your friends 400 bucks, right? Because instead of 2000 it'd be $1,600. Now, the question is, how do we divvy up this $1,600? How much do we allocate to Paul? And how much do we allocate to Rachel, right? We gotta send them a bill so they can reimburse us. And how do we divide up this $1,600? Well, we talked about with the incremental allocation method, we had said that we we're gonna designate someone a primary user. And let's say that Paul was the primary user. Then Paul, we were gonna allocate all the cost of the standalone to him, the 900 bucks, right? We say, well, look, it'd be 900 bucks if we were just gonna visit Paul. But the incremental cost of visiting Rachel beyond visiting Paul would be an extra 700 bucks, right? Because it's 1600 total, it'd be 900 to visit just Paul, and then so it's an extra 700 bucks to visit Rachel. We could also flip it the reverse way though and say, well, if Paul's the incremental user and Rachel is the primary user, It'd be 1,100 to visit just Rachel, and then because it's 1,600 to visit both, the extra 500 is allocated to Paul. Here was the problem, though. Remember we talked about it. everybody's going to want to be the incremental user, and nobody wants to be the primary user, right? Because the incremental user is getting the benefit, right? So Rachel, the normal cost for Rachel, if you just visit her by herself, would be 1,100 bucks. But if she's an incremental user, she saves 400 dollars. It's 700. Conversely. If Paul is the incremental user and Rachel's the primary, Rachel's got to pay the full freight of 1100 bucks that you would have to pay to, to visit her anyways just by herself, and Paul only has to pay 500 So the way that has been devised to, to address this, right, because everyone's going to want to fight to not be the primary user, is what we could do is we could just take the average of what the cost would be if you were the primary user and the average cost of what it would be if you were the incremental user. Okay, so for Paul, let's take Paul here. So Paul would be 900, 900 plus 500 over two, right? Because Paul gets charged 900 if he's primary user, 500 if he's incremental user, right? So 900 plus 500 over two equals $700, okay? And now, we're going to do Rachel. So if Rachel is the incremental user, it's 700, right? So Rachel is going to be 700 plus, and then she's 1100 if she's the primary user, plus 1100 over two. So that adds up in the numerator, that's $1,800 divided by two is $900. So using the Shapley value cost allocation method, what we would end up doing is we would allocate $700 of cost to Paul. So Paul would get a bill from us for reimbursement of $700, and Rachel would get a bill from us for $900, right? Now, if we, we add these up, they add up to $1,600, right? Which is good. That means, that means we didn't make a mistake because the whole cost of this Chicago to Paris to Rome back to Chicago trip is $1,600. So we've allocated the cost, 700 going to Paul, 900 going to 